The moment of truth has finally arrived. Greenland. I went to one of the most remote places on Earth on a pretty crazy mission. But why would I travel all the way to the end of the world? Let's start from the beginning. In 2020, Air Greenland made an order of my favorite plane, the Airbus A330-800neo, to replace their aging flagship 330 200. The airline is expected to receive the new plane by the end of the year, and given my obsession with Greenland and unique airlines, I know that I needed to be on this delivery flight. In the past, I've been on few of them, so I decided to email Katya, Air Greenland's marketing person, to be part of this delivery flight. Months went by, and even though I followed up a couple of times, Katya no. never replied. Well, I've been waiting for a couple of months now and I still haven't received an answer. So I could either accept defeat and just let it go, or I could possibly travel to Greenland and ask Katya myself. Well, let's go to the airport. Traveling to Greenland isn't really a piece of cake, especially if you happen to live in Sri Lanka. The only way into Greenland is through Copenhagen, and the only airline flying to Denmark in the region is Thai Airways from Bangkok. Once I arrive in the Danish capital, I would take Air Greenland on a 5 hour trip to Kangalusak, the only runway long enough in the country to accommodate an Airbus A330. From there, it would only be one more flight to Greenland's capital Nuuk where the airline's headquarters is located and where I would eventually meet Katya. It was then about time to start my journey, which started in Colombo and I would fly to Bangkok with a stop in Malaysia. The next day I would take an 11 hour flight from Bangkok to Copenhagen, the gateway to Greenland. But during the flight I was thinking whether it was a good idea to just rock up in Nuuk and surprise Katya. What? If she's on a holiday or on a business trip, or maybe she never replied because she doesn't like my content. Perhaps she's even part of the Sam Chui Defense League. Well, life is a daring adventure, or nothing at all. So I'm happy to take a risk and try my luck. Welcome to Copenhagen. Two more flights to go. So I'm just preparing for my flight tomorrow to Greenland and I just googled the weather in Nuuk. It's one degrees. I mean, I'm not stupid, right? Though a few of you think otherwise, but I know it's cold in Greenland, but I didn't know it was that cold in June. Well, I guess I've uh, got to go and get a winter jacket. Guys, beautiful good morning. It's 5.45 a.m. And you know on this channel, if I have to put pants on, things are about to get real. <laughs> so, two more flights to go. Off to Greenland. So the question is though, is the Terminal 2 where all the Schengen flights leave? Because technically it's a domestic flight, isn't it? Or is it Terminal 3? where all the international departures are happening. And this board is not gonna give me the answer. Hmm. Well, I guess since Greenland is a proud part of Denmark, it's gotta be Terminal 2. Hi, good morning, how are you? Um, Air Greenland, which terminal would that be? Terminal 2. Terminal 2, thank you very much. Have a good day. Terminal 2, I told you. 
Hey, good morning, how are you? What is your final destination, sir? Uh, Nook. So, all checked in for the Air Greenland experience. There she is, Air Greenland, Airbus A330, going to a place so remote and that on such a unique and beautiful aircraft. I don't get that excited anymore. I mean, usually last time I went to Afghanistan or Iraq or North Korea. Those are the kind of times when I'm a little bit nervous, but also curious, because I don't know what is ahead of me. But this one today does feel very special to me. I don't know how this is going to end. I'm going to be turned away. I'm going to be welcomed with open arms. I'm going to succeed the mission. Am I going to be declared mentally insane? <laughs> I don't know. But that's all love. This is unscripted, real life adventure here. And I have no idea how this is going to be ending. Let's all hope for a happy ending. It was then time to board my flight to Greenland and as soon as I stepped on board I was in for a little surprise. Hi, how are you? Hi, good morning. Thank you. Hi. Hi, how are you? Um, good to see you. Yeah, yeah. Welcome on board. <laughs> thank you, how are you doing? You good? <laughs> I'm good, yeah. I'm John. I watch your videos on YouTube. Oh, thank you, thank yeah, you. Yeah. Well, you're on, you're on YouTube now. <laughs> oh, okay. I saw you on... Um, 3.30 yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you know when it's coming? Do you know when it's coming? Uh, we think in September. September? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I hope I'll yeah. be there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but here we are. Welcome on board Norsak, which has been in service for 24 years and was originally delivered to Sabina, the former national airline of Belgium. But since 2002, the Airbus is flying for a Greenland. 30 seats in business and 248 in economy class is what you can expect on this plane. So guys, and here we are. Welcome on board the Airbus A330, uh, baptized by the name of Norsak, um, taking me to Greenland, four and a half hour flight. Got a lovely welcome at the door. The cabin crew member is a subscriber of me. And he remembers my Lufthansa flight when I was cruising over Greenland and at this time I was already like all pumped and hyped about the news that Air Greenland is going to get that new plane. And in that video I mentioned if somebody has the email of the CEO, please get in touch with me so I can ask him if I can be on a delivery flight. Well, that was a year ago. Got in touch with Katya. She still hasn't responded, but that's why I'm on my way to Nuuk. Katya, I'm coming for you. Please be nice. <laughs> Yeah, um, but here we are. Uh, let me also give you a quick little seat tour because I can imagine you dying to know what this airplane looks like. Each seat features a personal entertainment screen as well as a USB slot. The choice of movies is rather limited though, so don't get too excited. We then pushed back and I was off on an adventure of a lifetime. to the Danish coast and disappeared into the clouds and soon the onboard service would start. So pretty much an hour into the flight and the meal service has kicked off. Um, it's not quite a hot meal, it's more of a snack and uh, yeah. Let's see what it tastes like. Yeah, so yeah. I'm not that stable anymore. You still look young. As 
then all the cabin crew came like the purser another crew member and they were all so apologetic and so nice and they were like wow your story is so cool and you're coming to Greenland and then everyone is so puzzled they say like Katya is such a nice girl she's super sweet and uh, and we don't know why she doesn't reply and they said if you need any help we have so many connections I can connect you to this person or that person everyone is so incredibly helpful and nice that I really wonder what went wrong with that email or why she doesn't maybe she doesn't like my videos or she doesn't like my face she's like this Josh guy no nah, definitely not but then they also said oh our CEO Jacob he's such a nice guy such a cool guy he likes these kind of things so um, yeah um, I guess we will find out very soon why Katya didn't reply <laughs> Like the crew is literally the kindest. They made me a little bag with champagne, red wine, snacks, and they came here and they handed me uh, the bag and said, Josh, good luck with your mission. <laughs> so touching. It was then time to say goodbye to the crew, but hello and good day to Greenland. Bye bye, thank you so much. Hey. <laughs> bye bye. And here I was, a childhood dream turned reality. And at this point, I wasn't too worried anymore whether I succeed this mission or not. Because I finally made it to Greenland. So guys, and if this video gets to 10,000 likes, I will give away one of those beautiful Air Greenland airplane models among all the comments. So all you have to do is like, subscribe, and comment in order to win this beautiful plane. Hey, how are you? Hi. Staying with you guys, but how do I get my back so, so, from the plane? Um, they don't bring them to Greenland. Oh, is it? No, then bad luck. <laughs> it's too heavy, sorry. It's too heavy. Down uh, the stairs, I have the luggage, you see it. You can't really get lost here, if, right? No, you can't. Uh, if you start walking up the hill, uh, then you have gone too far. I've gone too far, yes. okay, good. Uh, when you follow the road. Here is the airbus with a beautiful backdrop. And then this is a Dash 8, Dash um, 200, the smallest version. Um, of the dash and this is the plane that I'm going to take to Iceland which is one of the longest dash 8 flights in the world another adventure but let me first finish this mission <laughs> I don't know, no, no, like I think I'm gonna walk, like it shoots at two kilometers, right? Yes. That's easy, yes. easy, and I can ex ex take in the fresh, nice air and uh, It is good, see. well, the weather's good today, so yeah. Yeah. Exactly, exactly, where it gets worse usually? No No? No, this is kind of good weather Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did they say the sun is always shining here? Uh, yes That's why they have the airport here, right? They can always yes. land here, kind yes. of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Do you live here? Uh, yes. Are you like no, I'm true? From Denmark. Oh, you're from Denmark. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. The next time you get to some buildings, you are at Old Camp. I'm at Old Camp, right? Yeah, so, <laughs> welcome. Cheers, mate. Thank you. 
so here we are. Welcome to Kangalusak. I don't know how I better pronounce it right or not, but <laughs> it's, it's so beautiful. It's amazing. So apparently, so this is the airport behind me, as you can see, and this is the local supermarket and there's a hotel over there. It's like only 500 people live here. And it used to be an old uh, U.S. Army uh, airport during the Second World War. And then the Americans stayed on for a little more. And then it pretty much was turned into uh, the only airport because the weather conditions here are uh, pretty decent throughout the year, which is not the case in Nuuk. I heard the weather can get really bad there. But yeah, here we are. Welcome to, welcome to Greenland. One more flight to go. But this is just beautiful. It's stunning. I don't know. I love those kind of places. It's something else. It's something else. Wow. I then checked in at the old camp where I would stay for the night and continue my journey to Nook tomorrow. Well, thanks to the Air Greenland crew. Uh, cheers. Got all the wine, champagne, water, snacks. It's actually life saving because there's no restaurant here. I said the only place to eat is like uh, actually inside the airport building. After saying goodbye to Norsak, it was also then time for me to get some rest before I continue my trip to Nuuk tomorrow. Guys, beautiful morning from the old camp. It's 4am right now. It's like super bright. It's like this all night. I had a long sleep and now let's go and get some breakfast. And then we're going to spot the, the 30, which is going to arrive. And then we'll be taking the Dash 8 200 to Nook to finally finish this mission. <laughs> oh dear. Charging $150 a night, but asking you to remove the bed sheets before you leave. <laughs> so I literally just reached the end of the runway. It's 2,800 meters long. Just trying to find a good spot for that one arrival a day that matters so much to the country. So yeah, I want to get some uh, nice footage because it's so quiet here. So all you hear is the plane and that is so fascinating. I mean, apart from being an Afghik or whatever, got to come and visit uh, Greenland. It's just so beautiful and I haven't seen anything yet. <laughs> yeah, but I love it. So guys, and here I am at the very end of the runway, as you can see the, the, the runway lights, uh, which guide the plane in um, coming from over there. It's the longest fjord of uh, Greenland, I was told. And there's a deep water port as well. So cruise ships come in here, drop and pick up passengers. And uh, this is also how the Airbus comes in. It flies in from there um, and then kind of navigates its way into the fjord and uses this as a corridor and then obviously it's also guided here by the runway lights and then lands right here i don't think it can come in from the other way because there's a lot of terrain and uh, as we saw yesterday it also took off into this direction so i think it's always coming from here and taking off into the fjord that is what i think i might be wrong but i don't think it's 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 using the other it's using the other way. It's pretty impressive, all that infrastructure you have right here in the middle of nowhere. It's, it's actually all about that one flight, right? That flight keeps everyone employed, pretty much. I guess the cruise ships as well, but you see how, how, how important it is. It brings in, I guess, a lot of cargo as well, and uh, direct link with, with Denmark. Yeah, look at this, all the lights here. All right, the plane is supposed to land in 15 minutes, so 
I can we give it a nice welcome, no? <laughs> there she is, the Airbus is on its way. It's amazing, excited, I'm really excited about that. So that was the air vice and this one is my dash a the plane i'm going to take to nook in an hour Can I check in already? Oh yeah. yeah. So I've all checked in and Kangalusak is the only airport in the world where you can go check in and then go up, climb a mountain, watch the Airbus depart and then go back to the gate. Where else can you have such luxury? Oh. I think that's good enough. Ah, what a view. Well, off they go and I think that also concludes my visit to Kangalusak and now let's head down again to the airport and let's take the next flight finally to Nook because by the time now you must be terribly bored of me here filming airplanes let's do this let's get down coming up is always easy going down is a tricky part the things that I do for you guys, no? <laughs> Thank you. In North Sea, it's a very good issue. It's a very good issue. It's a very good issue. It's a very Four days, five flights, and 16,000 kilometers later, I finally descended into Nuuk, the unique capital of Greenland, for the moment. So and here we are, we finally made it to Nook after four days. Thank you. You know that, right? Yeah. Not too many hotels here, right? <laughs> Is this the main office of Air Greenland? Yeah. yeah. Are you from Nook? Yeah, I'm yeah. born here. Born here? Yeah. How old are you? 38. 38. And you spend all your life here? 
No, I've been South Greenland. Ah, oh, oh, South Greenland as well. Yeah. Okay. How how is life here? It looks very slow, relaxed. No, not here. Not here. Not in Nook. Not in Nook. <laughs> Nook. Do you feel like climate change here? Is it getting yeah? Yeah. It yeah. Much. much hotter, right? Yeah. But over the years, the summers are getting warmer here. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it took, I took four days to come here. Okay. A <laughs> long trip. Yeah. But I always wanted to visit Greenland for, since I'm a little kid, yeah. I always said I want to go to Greenland one yeah. day. And today is the day. That's yeah. Good. 35 years in the making, finally. Yeah. yeah. I feel right now very uh, emotional. Yeah. <laughs> How do you say welcome in your language? Chikikuari. Say again? Chikikuari. Oh my god, that's hard. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so, three pieces. Thank you so much, hey? Enjoy. <laughs> I will, I will. All the best, bye. Bye. Hey, how are you? Very good. All right. You cool. can just ask for it. All right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have a good day. Hey. This is my room. Welcome to Nook. Quite emotional, quite emotional. Dreams do come true, right? Have a shower. Well, actually, do you want a room tour? It's actually pretty stylish, my bed. It's a TV, my little desk. And then this is the bathroom here with a nice little shower. It looks clean, it looks fresh, and it's so bright. Love it, it's great. Welcome to Nook. Good morning guys, today is the day. But before I go, I knew that I needed a plan B in case Katya is gone or doesn't want to see me. So I decided to write a letter to the CEO so all my efforts coming to Greenland wouldn't be for nothing. My card, so he has my WhatsApp and email so you can reply. Let's put a Cahill sticker in there as well. And I feel generous today. Jacob, you get a key ring as well. I'm expecting a photo though, with you standing in front of an Air Greenland plane holding this, all right? That'd be the least thing you can do. <laughs> Joking. All right. So here we go, Jacob, that's for you. That's ready. Now let's get changed and let's get ready for probably one of the craziest, but also most meaningful things I have ever done and my heart rate right now is increasing. All right, guys, let's do this. Let's go to the Air Greenland head office. I'm a little bit nervous about this, to be honest. God knows how she's gonna react. What are they gonna let me in? Or are they just gonna say, oh, she's not here today? We'll find out. I need a taxi. Can yeah, you I'll call, call one for me? That's very nice of you. Thank you. Awesome. That's very nice. Thank you so much. Awesome. At uh, the Air Greenland office. Yeah. I do need a receipt. Thank you. Have a good day. Hey. So guys, here I am. I'm standing right in front of the Air Greenland headquarter. So I'm uh, slightly nervous, but you know, if you don't try, you you never know, right? Either it's going to be my brightest hour and uh, a good day for my channel, or it's just going to be a big failure. We'll find out. But that's what life is all about, right? Hey. 
Hey, how are you? Um, I was wondering, uh, Katya Val, mm -hmm. if she is in today and if she has uh, time. Yeah. I, yeah, she, uh, I wanted to talk to her. Yeah. Yeah. And she knows you? I, yeah, from emails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she, uh, so that's why I'm here today. Yeah. I thought if she has a few minutes, that would okay. be nice. And if she has, she's busy, yeah. that's okay. I, I'm happy to wait. Yeah. yeah. What is your name? Josh. Josh. Yeah. She will be ready 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock? Yeah. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. And I will be back yeah. at 10. Okay. Thank you so much yeah. for your help. Yeah. All right. Uh, bit of a surprise. She said she's ready at 10. So in the meanwhile, let's get a coffee and then it's time for the big showdown. I find it always interesting when you see other vloggers. Oh, no, no, <laughs> Where are you from? From South Africa. Oh, nice, yeah. nice, nice. Uh, Germany, Germany. Yeah, yeah. Nice. what are you vlogging about? <laughs> Just Greenland, mate. Fantastic. Yeah, uh, it's pretty cool. Camera, by the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, in, in, in GoPro we trust, okay. right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. See, cheers, mate. Eh? See ya. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go all the way to Greenland to find another vlogger. Um, yeah, this is the airport, by the way, as you can see, which they're extending. But I'm wondering whether Katja knows that I'm coming because obviously there's a lot of talk on the Airbus A330 uh, with the crew and everyone was so encouraging and everyone was like, Josh, you got to make this a success and everything. So um, though I told her, told everyone on the, on the flight, don't tell Katja I'm coming. I want to call her by surprise. But you know, some people, they love to talk and maybe message Katja, say, Josh is on its way, get prepared. So we'll see. We'll see. She could have just turned me away for now, but she didn't. So um, this is the airport and uh, I'm going to go grab a coffee inside and then, yeah, then you go over there and meet Katya. So a coffee and a sandwich. I got an hour to kill. <laughs> I'm actually in the departure area. Remember? That's why I arrived yesterday. You can just walk in here and sit down and have your coffee. It's just like the domestic flights yesterday. There's no security checks. You literally just walk in the plane, which is pretty cool. All right, it's five to 10. The moment of truth has finally arrived. Let's see how it goes. Yes, I did. It was delicious. <laughs> No worries. I have it's took me five days to get here, so if it takes another five minutes or ten minutes, that's okay. <laughs> how pretty is he? Hi, Katya. How are you? I'm fine. You? Sorry <laughs> for keeping you waiting. No, no, that's okay. Thanks for making some time. You're how are you? Home. How are you? I'm fine. And you? Do, do you know who I am? I, I'm a little bit puzzled, to be honest. <laughs> I, I apparently I should know. No, you should not know, but okay. I was like, I'm just um, coming here. Mm -hmm. uh, took me five days, 16,000 miles, because you haven't replied to my email. I haven't replied <laughs> to your email. I'm so sorry. So you came all the way to Greenland. So good, all Katya. The way. I hope you had a, a pleasant journey. Uh, no, I'd like, that's okay. Everything is fine. I'm just making it overly dramatic, but. <laughs> Thanks for making the time, though. That's lovely. Oh and I'm sorry for like rocking up, just sorry for rocking up here. I don't want to just, just, so uh, just for the record, I'm not angry or anything like this. I, 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 I like, don't I just, worry. Cool. but that's actually. I need to know what I have to say to my CEO when he's saying that. No, 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 there's nothing, there's nothing bad. I, I literally was not mean spirited in the video at all. And I was always like, everyone is telling me Katya is so nice. What is it? Maybe something is wrong with Katya. I'm just going to book that flight. I go to Greenland. I have nothing to lose. And here I am. And like, sometimes people are busy. Sometimes you, other things came up on your mind. I don't know what it was. And, and I thought like, okay, if I meet her and she says, yes, cool, Josh, let's do it. It'd be yes, great. Cool, and then it'd be like, <laughs> and if she said, if Katya That's says, if you go home, Sorry, no. I would have been, I would still be happy. And, but now I can just confirm that you are, you are a very lovely person and everybody was right. I don't <laughs> think there's anything wrong about you. Well, <laughs> Katya and I ended up having a wonderful conversation and we both realized that we could eventually become great friends. She ended our conversation with the inspiring words of, Josh, you could have just called me. Well, Katya, I have to tell the world that you are a really nice person. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I'm, I think mission accomplished. <laughs> so sorry. Well, <laughs> we, we look forward to welcome you back. Yes. And, uh, like, and see you wait. again and have you on the A330. Guys, you heard it. There you go. <laughs> it was worth it all the time. <laughs> all the very, very welcome. <laughs> Thank you so yeah, much. I'm so sorry for not getting back to you. No, before. that's okay. <laughs> I, feel, I feel sorry now. No, it's all good. No, okay. The crew is right. You are a lovely person. Oh, um, thank you very much. <laughs> well, you they talk really highly of you. And, and, uh, as again, said again. But, but you came with the good weather. You have beautiful weather here, and I would. Uh, Make sure to get you out on a boat. Wherever I go. Have a great experience oh, while nice. you're here. And then uh, we will uh, make up for it when you come next time. Awesome. Awesome. Yes, mission accomplished. <laughs> <laughs> the next day, Katya invited me on her boat to meet her friends and family. And I'm glad I made the long journey to Greenland. It is such a fascinating and unique piece of land. It demonstrates the beauty of our planet. Also, a big thank you, Air Greenland, and especially Katya, for your hospitality and I hope I'll be back soon to see your new Airbus A330 800neo in action.